So in the previous lecture we have learned about the user interface of Adobe After Effects and in today's lecture we will learn about the timeline, animation, keyframes and composition. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Now let's create a new composition as always. I'll call it as main animation and settings. I'll choose normal settings Width I'll choose 1920 height 180 frame rate is 30 seconds and duration. I'll choose 30 seconds only and for the background color. We will choose black color hit OK and hit OK. So it will create this composition and this is our canvas this is my project window this is my timeline and this is my effect and presets panel now i'll go to choose grid and guide option and we will get this title safe action so i'll click on it so we will get this kind of grid which is almost like a camera as from name itself you will understand that title action safe so whenever we are going to create anything in this canvas so we can adjust it properly at the center now we will focus on this timeline section as you guys know this is timeline and this timeline is divided into two sections over here you will get the source name more track mat parent linking options and over here you will get actual timeline with duration this is my time indicator and if i hit space bar so we will get this play option over here we can adjust it like that also so move from here to here now what i'll do i'll select this rectangle tool over here whenever i am going to select any rectangle shape tool etc we will get these two options by default one is fill and another one is stroke we will see in depth about these two these options in my further videos but right now as you guys know whenever you are going to choose rectangle tool or any ellipse tool or star tool you will get these two options one is for fill and one is for stroke now i'll only focus on this fill we don't need any stroke so i'll go here and i'll choose any color like this purple and hit ok hold shift and i'll create one proper cube like that so whenever we are going to create anything in this vast canvas as you can see we will get this layer over here not only this but even if you type text over here i'll choose black color from this character and even if we type anything like motion etc as you can see another career layer is created in this main animation com so basically the point is whenever you are going to create anything in this canvas it will automatically create one layer over here now as you can see these two as i said this timeline is divided into two portion over here you will find the name of this and over here you will find the actual timeline and you can adjust this timeline like this so if i hit play now i'll move this thing over here if i hit play now as you can see after this point we can see this thing over here so this is the concept of this timeline now we will move on the our next chapter which is keyframes now again i'll create one ellipse i'll choose the same color and by holding shift i'll create one ellipse now whenever we are going to create any shape over here you will always find this anchor point over here so anchor point is basically the center of mass of any object like from that point it will rotate if i select this and i'll choose this rotation tool over here and i'll rotate it as you can see it's rotating from this point because the anchor point of this over here so center of mass of that object is also here so it will rotate from here only i'll hit ctrl z now for adjusting that we can adjust in two different ways first thing we can choose this pan behind tool and with the help of that you can adjust this anchor point and move it at the center and another thing you can choose shortcut key like ctrl alt hope so it will automatically go at the center now then you can select this layer you can go to the align tab 
align it horizontally and then align it vertically like that so this option is for alignment of any object now we as you can say we are going to learn about the keyframes but before that we need to learn about some properties like in after effects you can find n number of properties for example if i hit po on my keyboard you will get this position property if i hit s you will get this scale property r for rotation t for opacity now as you can see whenever i am gonna hit p it will open the position property and if i hit t it will open the opacity of property now i want all properties at the same time to be appear so for that what we will do initially let's hit p only then i'll hold shift and then i'll press r as you can see now we can see position and rotation both of them then i'll press let's say s which is for scaling then t for opacity so with the help of shift you can type any property shortcut and we can see those properties now whenever we are going to open this properties over here you will find this stopwatch this stopwatch is basically the initial keyframe of this property for example i'll select my selection tool and i'll move this thing over here by holding shift so it will snap properly now as you can see whenever i'll move this over here in position you can see the changes because in position we have two options one is for x axis and second one is for y axis so i'll move this thing over here and i'll create one keyframe on the position property i'll zoom in a little bit for zoom in i'll i'll choose over here you are you can see it's equal to but i am pressing plus sign so it will zoom my timeline as you can see we are getting this frames over here if i zoom out it will go back to the seconds now i'll go to around one second i'll select this layer which is my shape layer and by holding shift i'll move this thing from here to here now i'll go to the start and if i hit space bar we will get this simple animation over here like that as simple as that there is no rocket science now i want the scaling animation for them also so i'll create one keyframe on the start at this point i'll make it scale 50 and at this point now i want to jump from here to here so instead of using this time indicator again and again i have one shortcut case like k so it will automatically jump on the keyframe which is ahead of this and j which is at backward so i'll hit k for forward keyframes and j for backward keyframes so i'll go over here and i'll make it 100 again now if i hit play i can see this animation over here i'll let's make it 10 maybe so we'll get this kind of animation we don't need to animate rotation because it's circle so you are not going to find out whether it's rotating or not you can choose opacity but i don't think that looks good but you can what i'm saying is now i want to reveal all the keyframes on this layer so for that there is one shortcut key i'll press u so with the help of u what will happen you can see all the keyframes which you have made on any layer not in this shape layer but any layer or any composition in your i mean any layer which is in your composition so if i hit play we will get this kind of animation now this is my layer if i hit ctrl d as you can see it will duplicate the layer if i hit ctrl d few times as you can see i have created the duplicate of one layer five times so i have this five layers over here after selecting all of them if i hit u as you can see i can see all the keyframes like that and there is another thing we can do i'll zoom in a little bit you can adjust the timeline of these things like that so if we hit play now we will get this kind of animation which is a very simple animation there is no complicated stuff in it and 
there is another thing you can do with this thing i'll select the last layer and i'll change the color this one which is red i'll select this one i'll choose something like pink i'll select this one this one i'll choose blue and for this one i'll choose something like that so we will get this kind of animation so this is the concept of time uh, timeline and keyframes now we, we need to focus on the concept of compositions now let's see one example now i have 10 apples over here and then i have five pockets now i have to fill those apples in that pockets but after that i have to carry those five pockets and travel but because i have only two hands so it's difficult for me to carry these five pockets so for that what i'll do i'll grab some one big bag and then i'll put these five pockets in that bag and then i'll carry that one bag so this is the small scenario of compositions now what does it mean let's see now suppose i have this five animations now i need to move them for care forward backward forward backward suppose in my animations in future so instead of that what i'll do i'll move this thing over here and then i'll right click and i'll go to the pre-compose and i'll click on it and i can name it as let's say simple animation just like that move all attributes into the new composition and then i'll hit ok now all these things are in this simple animation composition if i double click on it as you can see inside that we will have this file layers so if i go to my main animation i can see this animation also and i can adjust this animation also now suppose if i shift this composition over here and from start if i hit play we will get this animation from here only so this is the concept of composition where you can accumulate all the animations in one simple composition so it will easy to adjust the layers and different different animations with the help of this compositions so in today's lecture we have learned about the composition we have learned about the keyframes and we have also learned about the timeline concept etc etc in the next lecture we will learn about the easy and eases property like suppose if i hit u and i'll select all the keyframes and if i hit f9 on keyboard as you can see the shape of this keyframes is changed and now if i hit play as you can see the animation is quite smoother so in the next lecture we will learn in depth of this so for today's tutorial that's it